On June 5, 2024, two NASA astronauts embarked on a historic mission aboard Boeing's CST-100 Starliner. But now, after a series of delays, a planned 10-day mission has become a weeks-long stay with a return date unknown. NASA fighting back on suggestions that the astronauts are stuck. What began as a promising leap forward in space travel has spiraled into a series of unprecedented challenges, casting doubt on the future of this ambitious project. A demonstration of what American engineering could achieve in the new era of commercial spaceflight. Instead, it has become a symbol of what can go wrong when ambition outpaces reality. So, why exactly is the Boeing Starliner failure much worse than people think? To understand the significance of the Starliner's failure, we need to look back at Boeing's storied history. Founded in 1916, Boeing has been a pioneer in aerospace innovation, from producing bombers that helped win World War II, to creating the 747, the Queen of the Skies. Boeing's legacy is deeply intertwined with American history, but Boeing isn't just about planes. Over the decades, they've expanded into military aircraft, missiles, and most relevant to this story, space exploration. Boeing's involvement with NASA dates back to the Apollo program. And more recently, they've been a key player in the development of the International Space Station. The Starliner was meant to be another feather in Boeing's cap, part of NASA's commercial crew program designed to end American reliance on Russian spacecraft for ISS access. And with a price tag of nearly $5 billion, this project was as much about national pride as it was about advancing space technology. So what exactly is the Boeing Starliner? At its core, the CST-100 Starliner is a spacecraft designed to transport astronauts to and from the International Space Station. It's part of NASA's broader strategy to commercialize space travel, making low Earth orbit more accessible and reliable. The Starliner was designed to be a versatile and reusable spacecraft, capable of up to 10 missions with a six-month turnaround. It features a crew capsule that can carry up to seven passengers. Although NASA missions typically have a crew of four, the capsule is paired with a service module that houses the propulsion and power systems. Boeing envisioned the Starliner as a cutting-edge spacecraft, featuring wireless internet, tablet-based interfaces for the crew, and an innovative, weldless structure. The goal was to create a spacecraft that was not only functional, but also represented the future of human space exploration. The mission was clear, to demonstrate that Boeing could safely and reliably transport astronauts to the ISS. But as with many ambitious projects, things didn't go according to plan. The Starliner program has been plagued by a series of technical failures, delays, and management issues that have significantly undermined confidence in the spacecraft. The first signs of trouble came during the uncrewed test flight in 2019, known as Orbital Flight Test 1. While the spacecraft successfully reached orbit, it failed to dock with the ISS due to a software issue that caused the spacecraft to miss its intended orbit. This was a critical failure, but Boeing pressed on, determined to fix the issues and prove that Starliner could perform as expected. From a commercial crew perspective, uh, coming over from the control center, everybody was incredibly happy, lots of smiles over there, uh, celebrating a, a great mission and a great test flight. I would say the team did just a tremendous job, not only during this flight, but if you'd look back at all the years of preparation to get this mission uh, ready to go, this test flight. Fast forward to 2022, and the second uncrewed test flight, OFT-2, finally achieved a successful docking with the ISS. However, this mission was not without its problems. Post-flight inspections revealed several issues, including material that was found to be flammable and problems with the parachutes. These findings delayed the first crewed flight, pushing it back repeatedly as Boeing worked to address the issues. By the time June 2024 rolled around, the stakes were high. Boeing needed a flawless mission to restore confidence in the Starliner program. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. 
Shortly after launch, a helium leak was detected in the service module, which is a critical component for maneuvering the spacecraft in space. This was followed by issues with the spacecraft's thrusters, which failed during the docking procedure with the ISS. NASA and Boeing assured the public that the issues were being managed, but behind the scenes, there was growing concern. I want to make it very clear that Butch and Sonny are not stranded in space. Uh, our plan is to continue to return them on Starliner uh, and return them home uh, when, at the right time. The thruster problems were particularly alarming because they could affect the spacecraft's ability to safely return to Earth. Boeing has lost more than $1.5 billion in budget overruns on the Starliner project. But the Starliner's troubles are just the latest in a series of significant setbacks for Boeing. In early 2024, a near-fatal catastrophe occurred when a piece of fuselage on Alaska Airlines Flight 1282, a Boeing 737 MAX 9, blew out mid-flight, terrifying passengers and leading to a cascade of safety concerns. The need to be vigilant on safety came clearly into focus on January 5th with the incident involving Alaska Airlines Flight 1282 when the mid -le left mid-cabin door plug blew out of a Boeing 737 MAX 9 shortly after departure. The incident forced the FAA to ground 171 Boeing 737 9 MAX planes only to discover more loose parts across the fleet. In the weeks that followed, Boeing's safety record took further hits. Passengers started avoiding Boeing aircraft, with searches for non-Boeing planes on booking sites like Kayak spiking 15 times higher than usual. Boeing's stock plummeted by more than 25%. Then, a grim timeline of events unfolded. By January 9, 2024, both United Airlines and Alaska Airlines had reported finding loose parts in other Boeing 737-9 MAX aircraft. On January 11, 2024, six passengers from the Alaska Airlines flight filed a class action lawsuit against Boeing, citing injuries and the psychological trauma experienced during the incident. Less than one month later on February 6, 2024, NTSB investigators revealed that critical bolts were missing from the aircraft that suffered the fuselage blowout, a problem that had existed for months without being addressed. Again, on March 7, 2024, a wheel fell off a Boeing 777-200 during takeoff, and a separate Boeing 737-900 experienced an engine fire in midair. Lastly, on March 22, 2024, passengers from Alaska Airlines Flight 1282 received letters from the FBI, identifying them as victims in an investigation into potential criminal negligence. The timeline of these incidents has severely damaged Boeing's reputation. In the aftermath of these failures, Boeing's CEO, Dave Calhoun, announced his resignation, effective at the end of 2024. The sudden death of John Swampy Barnett, a former Boeing quality control manager who was set to testify against the company, further darkened the company's image. Boeing, once known as a symbol of American innovation and reliability, is now facing a crisis of consumer confidence. According to the Axios Harris Poll 100, Boeing's corporate reputation fell by 10 points in 2024, marking it as one of the biggest losers in public trust. The company, which had enjoyed a special relationship with the U.S. government, is now under intense scrutiny. To make matters worse, the problems with the Starliner are more than just technical glitches. They reflect deeper issues within Boeing and its approach to space exploration. The company that once dominated the skies with its commercial jets and military aircraft is now struggling to keep pace with competitors like SpaceX, which has successfully completed 13 crewed missions with its Dragon spacecraft since 2020. The Starliner's failures also have broader implications for NASA and the future of American space exploration. NASA's reliance on Boeing was supposed to ensure that the United States had multiple options for crewed spaceflight, but instead, the agency finds itself in a difficult position. With SpaceX now carrying the weight of NASA's crewed missions, there's a risk of creating a single point of failure in the program, which is precisely what NASA wanted to avoid.
This is a company that was once considered the front runner in the commercial crew program, but now it's struggling to meet even the most basic requirements.